Hello everyone and welcome in this video and today we are going to take a look at all-in-one Windows customization tool called Screen Styler. But before doing that, I will just give a quick shout out to this guy who wanted to be in this video. So here you have it, but I will not try to pronounce your name because I will probably break my tongue. So with that being said, let's continue with the screen styler content. So if I go to their website, as you can see, we have style your desktop easily. So this is the screen styler. So what actually is screen styler? is all-in-one tool that will help you to customize Windows. And with installation of the screen styler, you will also be installing Rocket the Dock and Rain Meter. So, so far you can download it on their uh, mega thread, I think, and it's currently in version 0. Uh, 0.2.2 and you can install it only on Windows for now. I already installed in my system, but I will just explain you what screen styler actually is. So right now, Screen Styler is mega easy to use, sky is the limit so you can customize everything basically and it's fully visual so you can actually see all the changes that you are making. It also has day and night modes, it will install Rocket Dock as I said earlier and also has some other features. For example, it has also fancy walls built in, you can also dial Steam and is also light on the system. So, And it also has some pre-made templates. For, so in the future they will also add some other really neat features. For example, icon libraries, macOS version, also more widgets, visual styles, fancier walls, Spotify client client styling, Discord client styling, Chrome themes, IDA styles and many many more. So right now I will show you that I just installed my screen styler on my system and it looks like that. So this is the first page that you will be introduced to when you are first opening screen styler. So for example right now you have here my Windows desktop and you can have uh, two presets for example you have the default one and the blank one for this tutorial I will just put right here the default one and I will choose the default one so we have also the heading here click here to begin for example this is my first style so it looks like that this is the default theme that is just installed and as you can see we have here virtual desktop and it looks like that right now and we can also install it and it will look even better when we export it and install on our system so as I mentioned earlier with with this program you will also be installing Rocket Dock and Rain Meter so all these widgets are for Rain Meter and also Rocket Dock is also included. So right now if I click right here we have the wallpaper so we can change the wallpaper but we can also use the, our default one that we are actually currently using on our default system. So for example if I change the wallpaper I will ena enable that you can uh, pick uh, for example a solid color for example this one uh, a white one or a uh, light blue one you can also pick uh, let's say uh, the gradient one and it looks like that you have also custom gradient options you have a lot more wallpapers i think this one's for from unsplash and we also have layered uh, wallpapers uh, and these wallpapers consist of two layers so you can also put for instance a visualizer behind the mountains or in the fog so for example you have here uh, this wallpaper and you can also put the visualizer or music visualizer uh, behind that as well. So for this tutorial I will just pick one gradient for example this one I think it looks very very nice. So if we continue to the next step right here which are the widgets. So for example if I delete all these widgets right here. So here we have um, rain meter widgets and I'm currently just deleting them. So I will have a clean sheet and I will start from over. So right now, for example, uh, which one I just like. So these are the uh, iOS widgets, which are iOS inspired. We have grid widget styles and also custom tag. We can also add some custom text to it. So for example, I will just add a basic simple clock right here to the right of the our, our screen. And you can also resize, for example, this this uh, window right here where, where you can put your widgets. If I go to the widgets example right now, for example, the clock, you can also have the 1030 clock. I think it looks very, very nice. And you can also put it to even smaller, for example. Right now, I will show you that you can also put it to even smaller. Uh, and it looks very, very nice. But you can also put, for example, the sunset or the moon right here, uh, or even many other widgets right here. So I think it looks very, very nice, but you can also put some opacity and color on it, font size and alignment. So I think this one looks very, very nice. 
So we can also add some icons to that. For example, if I put uh, the, the grid, we have the grid right here on the on our um, desktop. But we can also put, uh, for example, the the teams right here. We have the light team, we have the dark team, we have the max team. We can also add the max team to it. So for example, I will just put a max team to our, uh, for example, to the dock, and I will just put our finder right here can't have duplicate items so for example I have the duplicate item so here we have the macOS themes right here we can add for example this one and this one the mail and as you can see we have the dock right here don't worry about that this does work at the bottom but we will hide it uh, at the end of this tutorial so we have also some web shortcuts for example if I want to add the Twitter to the dock or to the grid for example if I add it to the grid it's uh, it puts uh, here uh, the icon for our web page or even the Google, let's say the Apple one. And I think it looks very, you can also uh, even upload your uh, custom icon and it will look a bit different. So for example, uh, right here, if I go to the dock, we have used the dock, we can also disable the dock uh, and also enable the dock. And I think we can also add a separator. So this is the, this line right here. Uh, so we have the dock position. You can scale it like a bit. As you can see, we have it like so. For example, if we have like so, I think this one looks very, very nice. We have also the dock size, for example, uh, a bit bigger, even smaller. And I think this one looks a bit, bit, bit uh, too big for my liking. Let's say, let's say a bit, let's say something like that. And we also have dock style, for example, we have the white theme, we have the, this one, a little bit gray one, the dark theme, and I think this one looks very, very nice. So for example, um, here we have also other themes. For example, I think this is the transparency slider right here. So for example, I will put at this transparency right there. And I think this one looks nice. So we also have some steam skins, we can also uh, enable that. And we have the steam right here. And we can enable, let's say, some uh, themes right here. And it looks like that. But uh, if you want to, you can also uh, choose many other themes from the web. So also we have here some settings. So for the startup, you can uh, enable this one. So it will start with Windows. So for example, right here, Rain, Rain Meter and Rocket Dog. As I said before, they both uh, these programs are installed by uh, when you are installing the screen styler on your system. We also have the dark mode of the screen styler or even the dark mode. We have also high DPI display override. So for example, if the widgets are too small, you can uh, enable this setting as well. So aspect ratio, this one is the, the auto, I think, is the auto and screen corner roundness, we can also adjust the screen roundness of the our our screen for example it will have some black edges right here and it looks a bit curved right now so i will put it for my liking i will put it back to the normal uh, it looks the best in my opinion so also the taskbar position we have the compact uh, compact taskbar or even hide the desktop icons we can also enable all these settings uh, but i will just hide windows uh, taskbar uh, after uh, we are done with this tutorial so the specific options we have the time the date all these settings right here we have the performance so screen style will also check if your computer is compatible with this program or it will the all the, these programs will run fine on this on this on your computer so we can also export a style import a style so you can get these custom styles also on their discord uh, and i think uh, this is very uh, very very great from uh, screen styler that they provide you with some custom um, styles for this desktop so right here we also have a, a save icon so we have saved our uh, style locally and we also have uh, export a styler for sharing so if you want to share your um, custom um, custom desktop modification right here you can also export it on your desktop and you can also share it on your computer later or the in their discord so right near here we have the the check arrow right here so the check mark we can also add uh, added name for, uh, for let's say style one and I will just go right here back to the uh, this one and press install to apply this style. So for example, the screen styler just uh, exported our uh, our preset and we can also install uh, this widgets with Rainmeter. And after that, you sh we should be good to go with our desktop modification. So for example, if I close up right here our um, our screen styler and it looks like that right now.
So I think this is uh, very very nice and it also says here that it is it is created with a screen screen styler in the beta version 0.2.2 and we can also click here to close it so for example I close it right here uh, and if we want to I will actually right now just hide my taskbar so it will look a bit cleaner in my opinion so right here if I go to personalization go back to the taskbar and I will choose here taskbar behaviors and I will put automatically hide the taskbar. I think this has been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, and also uh, make sure it turns gray. So with that being said, like this video, make sure that we also reach 100 likes on this video. So with that being said, I see you guys in the next one. Peace.